Hey guys. So I am at the cancer center and I am going to get my one year scan. Can you guys believe that it has been one year since I finished chemotherapy? It's been an awesome year. I really have to say it really has been amazing. I've been so busy that I rarely have a chance to make videos. So I am here a few minutes early for my appointment. So I figured this would be a great time for me to update you guys on how I've been doing. So as most of you know, I decided to publish my debut novel, Wild Souls, and it has been getting awesome reviews. So if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely pick it up on Amazon, Wild Souls by Faith Prince. You'll love it. I've also just been so busy because if I've been working full time, I still have to keep a day job to pay the bills. At this point, writing is just a hobby and I'm just happy to get a few sales, but definitely not making enough money to quit my day job probably ever, but I'll keep trying. And so I'm working full time. I'm taking care of my baby boy, Zach, who is growing up so fast and he is so much fun. He's two and a half now, and this is just such a fun age. He's talking, he's understanding more. It is just so much fun to see his excitement. Like, for example, on Halloween, and I'll have to post a video from Halloween, we had so much fun because this was the first year that he really understood the concept. And he was running up to doors, ringing doorbells and shouting, Chick or treat! And then after he got candy, he was running back to me, Mama, I got more Chick or treats! I got more Chick or treats! So it's just been so amazing to watch him grow and his little personality develop and just see the joy and the awe that he has in ordinary things, which makes those things become extraordinary. So between working full time, taking care of Zach, promoting my book, and I'm working on writing another book. It's called Where Magic Begins, and I'm really stoked about it. I'll talk about that more in a future video when I get a little further along in it, but I am hoping to release it in the spring, um, depending how much time I find to work on it. That is my goal. So I'm excited about that too, but it leaves very little time for videos. So I'm excited that I have a few moments right now to catch up with you guys because you guys have been such an awesome support to me throughout everything that I've gone through over the past couple of years. So I wanted you to be here with me for this. So let's talk about the medical stuff. So if you guys have been following me, you know that about six months ago, I noticed some new lumps in my neck and the doctor told me not to worry about it and that they were small and that they would most likely go away on their own. But now it's six months later and I guess they're a little smaller. They're about the same. It still doesn't sit right with me that they're, he said they're enlarged lymph nodes, that they're lasting so long. Are they just gonna be there forever? So it concerns me. So overall, I'm feeling great. Like I said, everything is wonderful. I am in a good place in my life. I really can't complain about anything. I'm really happy. But, and I don't feel my neck every day. I don't obsess over it. But knowing that I have my scan coming up, I was like, oh, let me check it out and see if those lumps are still there. And they are. So I don't think that's normal. But maybe after everything I went through, my glands were a bit overactive. I don't know. But the doctor seemed to think that at this size, they weren't anything to be concerned about, but it just, it seems weird to me that they're still there. Today, I'm going to get a scan of my neck and then a full body scan. Um, it's actually Friday evening. I came here straight from work. That's why I have a little bit of free time, just the way the time I got out of work and the time of my appointment turned out. So usually after the scan, I either have an appointment with my doctor that day or for, you know, within the next few days in order for him to go over the results with me but my doctor has left the practice. I really, I really have the worst luck with doctors, I have to say. So he left the practice and now they are going to assign me another doctor. However, I have not assigned a doctor at the moment. So they have scheduled my scan, but they haven't scheduled me a follow-up appointment. So I don't know when I'm gonna get the results of this scan. The results are probably going to pop up in my patient portal online in the next few days. So I might just have to try to interpret the results on my own if they don't give me an appointment with somebody. I emailed them. They never emailed me back to let them know that I do not have a follow-up appointment with any doctor. They never emailed me back, but then I got a generic announcement email that went out to 
all the patients of this doctor that has left the practice saying that they are currently working on rescheduling every patient's appointment that was with this doctor with another doctor. So, and it said, please be patient with us while we're going through this transition. So that seems a bit disorganized to me because I'm sure that they knew that the doctor was leaving like months ago. So now that he's gone, you're just starting to reschedule those patients' appointments. Me and my husband found out that he was leaving Sloan because we saw an announcement months ago on his Twitter. We found out through a tweet that he was leaving and that he had accepted a job elsewhere. Um, so if he was tweeting about it, they definitely knew about it. So why have they still not rescheduled his appointments with other lymphoma doctors? I don't know. Like, I'm not judging. I'm sure they're very busy. They're saving people's lives. All respect to the doctors and the people that work for the doctors. But it is a little frustrating that I have my scan tonight and I don't have a follow-up appointment scheduled. Yeah, so that's pretty much the update. I'm going to head inside. I'm going to take you guys with me. You guys are my support system. Jason's not with me today because of he was going to pick Zach up from school. And then he was going to my friend's house. And I'm going to meet at my friend's house after I finish my scan. Shout out to John and Sharon. I love you guys. We're going to go over there and have some dinner and try to get my mind off things. Um, and I have you guys with me. So I always appreciate your support. Thank you so much for all your kind comments. And let's go inside and hopefully get this scan over with quickly so I can get out of here. So you can see here we have the CT of the neck that was done on November 4th. Okay. So here you can see um, clinical statement lymphoma, rule out new or progressive disease. So that's the purpose of the scan. Techniques CT neck with intravenous contrast. Okay. So findings, soft tissues, no suspicious lesion within the aerodigestive tract, bilateral part, I can't pronounce all of this, but that's good. But this was not good. Increased conspicuity of left thyroid gland hypodense nodules, measuring up to 0.5 centimeters. So this has nothing to do with my lymphoma. This is just some thyroid nodules. I'm um, not sure what that means, but it's not lymphoma. So that's a good thing, but there is something going on in my thyroid, which is probably nothing. I'm not going to panic over it. Um, not sure if they're going to send me for additional testing, but it's not related to the lymphoma at least. Um, there's no new suspicious cervical lymph nodes, no abnormally enhancing lesions within the int intracranial structures, no suspicious focal osseous lesions. I believe that's bone lesions. Paranasal sinuses and mastoid air cells are clear. That surprises me because I, I feel a little stuffy, but I guess my sinuses are clear. For additional findings in the chest, please refer to same day chest, abdomen, pelvis CT, which we're going to read next. So basically the impression is no suspicious cervical lymph nodes, which cervical lymph nodes refers to your neck, lymph nodes in your neck. Um, and left thyroid gland hypodense nodules, nonspecific, Consider further evaluation with dedicated thyroid ultrasound as clinically indicated. So it looks like they might send me to an ultrasound for that, but that would be unrelated to lymphoma. Okay, next, let's look at the body scan. Let's pull it up right here. Okay, so again, clinical statement, lymphoma, rule out newer progressive disease. That's just stating the purpose of the scan shows that um, how much radiation I got. Okay, so here are the findings. The lungs are unremarkable. The pleura, there's no effusion, that's good. Effusion is bad. The mediastinum, no endenopathy. I think that that is how you pronounce it. Adenopathy means swollen lymph nodes. So when I was originally diagnosed with lymphoma, I did have swollen lymph nodes in my mediastinum and thoracic nodes, um, 
So those are gone and have stayed gone. Um, hepatobiliary, I guess that's my liver, unremarkable. Spleen, unremarkable. Pancreas, unremarkable. Adrenal glands, unremarkable. Kidneys, unremarkable. It has never felt this good in my life to be unremarkable. Ab ab bleh. Abdominal pelvic no no adenopathy. That means in my pelvis, there's no swollen lymph nodes. Pelvic organs. So I looked this up, the right adnexal corpus luteum, and that just means that I have a cyst on one of my ovaries, which is perfectly normal for women of childbearing age. Um, my bowel is unremarkable. My bones has no suspicious lesion in my bones. Um, and again, they noted the um, left thyroid nodule. So I guess that's something that will need to be investigated. But the overall impression is no adenopathy, which means no swollen lymph nodes in my body. And my organs are unremarkable. So that basically means I have not seen the doctor yet. I'm going to see him next week. But what I am deciphering is that I am still in remission from lymphoma and there's something small on my thyroid that's probably nothing, but I'll keep you guys posted. So I am so happy. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm so happy that I am still in remission. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. I'll catch you next time.